sisters Ali and Joanna were curious to know just how similar their genes are when it comes to their health. They decided to pay a visit to MyDNA and take a test to see once and for all if their symptoms matched up with their DNA results. So I've got both your reports here, Ellie, that's your Thank report. You. Joanna, Thank that's your you. report. And you'll be pleased to know, well I think you'll be pleased to know, your results are quite different despite being sisters. We look at nine different vitamins and minerals. And the two actually, Ellie, that you are at higher risk of needing is actually vitamin D mm -hmm. and vitamin B12. Okay. So, let's talk about B12. Do you know about anything about vitamin B12? Do you know how you get vitamin B12 in our diet? I think from meat. And, you do? Well, yeah. animal and foods, yeah. So, and fatty fish like salmon, they're rich in B12. Yeah. Um, and so, it sounds like you're having them in your diet. Yeah. But if you were having any symptoms of low B12 or feeling like that, then it would be worth seeing a dietitian or even having a blood test because you may need vitamin B12 supplementation. Yeah. Okay. This isn't saying you need it, but it's just saying you are at more predisposed to being low in B12. Yeah. Joanna. Yes. All right, let's have a look here. I'm going to flick to your report. Pretty perfect. Oh, it's not quite <laughs> perfect. The thing interesting, actually, that's a bit different is actually vitamin B6, which you had no issues around B6. You process vitamin B6 very quickly. Okay. Faster than some of us, um, which means you probably need a bit more in your diet. So yeah. B6 is in meat, fish, and soy products. Yeah, okay. So you should, if you're having plenty of meat and fish, I think your B6 levels will be fine. Yeah, okay. So. After doing this test, and for both of you, you can see there are some vitamins that you need more than others. Yeah. So rather than just everyone just randomly taking a multivitamin, you might be able to pick the vitamins that are more suited for what your body actually needs. And it's this whole area of personalised wellness. If the test says that I am low in calcium and iron, how would I get that tested if I am deficient? So when you log into the portal, it might say, look, you're, let's use calcium as an example. Yeah? Yeah. It will say, you're slightly more predisposed to being low in calcium. Yeah. In the food guide section, it will tell you the types of foods that you should be having yeah. to help boost your calcium levels. It also provides some advice to say, well, even if you're having these foods and you're feeling like this, here are some signs of people that are low in calcium that are okay. exhibiting. So if you were worried about that, so you're having the food, you still might have some warning signs of being low in calcium, yep, yep. Then, you, then you can obviously then go and see a specialist or a, a practitioner and get some further advice. Okay. The scientists at MyDNA have also developed tests that can tell you how your genes affect things like your fitness, nutrition, caffeine intake, even what medications will and won't work for you. If you're curious to find out the secrets of your DNA, just head to mydna.life.